Almost exactly 32 years after the body of 13-year-old Candace Dirksen was found, the man accused and convicted of her murder is getting a retrial. Mark Grant was found guilty of second-degree murder in 2011. Two years later, his conviction was overturned. CTV's Michelle Gerwing was in the courtroom today for the first day of witnesses. We shall not all sleep. In the winter of 1985, the Dirksen family buried their oldest daughter, Candace. On January 17th, the 13-year-old's frozen body was found inside a shed, her hands and feet bound together with twine. 32 years later, almost to the day, her family is back inside a courtroom as the case gets retried. If we're wrong, we want to be told and shown. Yeah. Not only told, we want to be shown that we're wrong and we're open to that as well. In 2011, Mark Grant was found guilty of second-degree murder in the case. That conviction was overturned by the Manitoba a court of appeal, Grant, now in his late 50s, maintains his innocence. One of the last people to see Dirksen alive was the first witness called to the stand. Schoolmate David Weeb testified he saw her on the phone after school on November 30th, and he jokingly threw a snowball in her face. I think that Candace was desperately in love with David. <laughs> And that's why she was over the top happy when she said, you know, he gave me a face wash. And that's why I knew she was so happy that day. Dirksen, who was supposed to walk home that day, never made it. Weeks went by before her body was found. During the trial, a written statement was also introduced from the man who found Dirksen's body. I thought it was a doll, it read. Victor Frankowski said he found the body in a shed when he went back to get a handsaw. He said he did not touch it, and he went and got another person to show what he had found. Then he called police. CTV's Michelle Gerwing joins us now from the law courts. Michelle, uh, for those who are wondering, why was the initial conviction overturned? In 2013, the Manitoba Court of Appeal ruled that in this case, in the original trial, the judge made a mistake by not allowing the defense to introduce evidence that could have pointed to another possible killer. Michelle, who else, who else testified today? We also heard today from three police officers that were first on scene. They were asked about what they saw and how they secured the scene. Uh, they all maintained that they did not touch the body. We also heard from the property owner of where that shed was located. Uh, the trial will continue for another 33 days. Thanks, Michelle.